Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing kind of like a little review, kind of like insight into the Jaclyn Hill Vault uh, Morphe collection here. I was so, so excited to get this. Like it came in the mail yesterday and I immediately did an eye look and it was just beautiful. So <laughs> if you want to see my uh, thoughts on the Vault collection and you want to see how I got this eye look right here, just keep watching. Okay guys, I was so, so excited to get this in the mail yesterday. <laughs> um, it's, it's so cute. Let me just point that part out because when you get it, it like, it comes in, um, it, it looks like this, but it comes in kind of like, uh, just like a thin box that you open up and on the back it has Jacqueline's face and kind of like a little message on it. And then when you open it up, you pull this out. Um, and then I really like this because this is like an awesome way to store these palettes because they're literally like all four of them are right here and then all you have to do is just pull this little thing and they pop out so that is like super handy um this is an adorable little thing that i'm probably going to somehow incorporate into like my decorations here um so that's awesome okay so let's just jump into the palettes i've not been able to use them all like super thoroughly yet because obviously i just got them yesterday um but i will kind of like go through them and like swatch them for you and let you see like like what my overall like first thoughts are okay so when they come out of this little box thing um there's four separate um four separate palettes there is um armed and gorgeous ring the alarm dark magic and bling boss oh my goodness guys like i think what i what drew me to these palettes initially like the reason why i needed to wake up like right before this launch and buy them literally within the first three minutes of them being on the website was because of like the range of different colors in each palette like they're not it, they're not like those types of palettes that you literally you look in one and it has like three of basically the same color that's in like another palette they're all very different from each other and i just love it okay so i will just start with bling boss um, this is like one that definitely kind of drew me <laughs> to buying this just because I am the type of person that I absolutely love purples and wines and I just, I I'm obsessed with them. I've always loved purple eyeshadows. I just feel like they look good on pretty much every eye color. Like it's, it's something that really kind of brings out brown, blue, green, whatever your eye color is. It really kind of highlights that. Okay, so yes, this is... This is the Bling Boss palette right here. And then here's Dark Magic. This one kind of gives like, kind of a somewhat like fall, like wintery type of vibe to it. Um, it has like these cool tones in it. Kind of more like naturalistic colors. And then obviously I'm obsessed with Ring the Alarm because I love warms. <laughs> like these warm tones are absolutely gorgeous. I want them all on my face at the same time. And then this is the one that like, kind of, I didn't just, in the tutorial that you're gonna see on how to do this eye look, this palette is what kind of like influenced me to do this look. I used pretty much all of the palettes, but this one is the reason why I did this eye look today. <laughs> so I'm obsessed with this one uh, mainly right now because I think that it's like that time of year when I'm starting to refuse the fact that it's still summer. <laughs> I'm like going to just look over that and pretend like it's fall because I'm just ready. I'm ready for scary movies. I'm ready for um, wearing sweatshirts every day and it's just oh, I love the fall it's my favorite of all time but yes this is what is this one that one is armed and gorgeous that's what this one is so first of all I want to point out that I love that these are like I love her original um well not original but the this palette that she came out with Morphe um last year or whatever even though I absolutely love that one with everything in, in my soul if I were to travel with that it's like super big and super bulky and that's kind of like like, I would do it because of how, like, amazing the actual eyeshadow is, but the fact that these are so small, I can literally just pick one, throw it in my bag, and not have to worry about, like, not having any room for anything else, basically. So that's awesome. I love the size. They're so pretty. Um, also, I just want to point out that I love that whatever they used, um, like, in this packaging, like, the feel of it, is different from the one that she used here. So this one, like... I don't even know how to explain it. This one's like shinier and this one is more of like a matte kind of like soft finish. Um, so like if you can see it's so dirty and I really like 
I haven't done much to this to make it this dirty so I don't know the whatever they used on this one it kind of just I don't know it grabs product really well and makes it super dirty whereas I don't think that these are gonna have that problem because they're so shiny I feel like all I'd have to do is just kind of wipe it off so that's awesome they are not gonna get like all raggedy looking okay so I'm also just now realizing this is like a super small detail and it's probably not that big of a deal but I really like it <laughs> um, like in the little design that she has right here um, where like this one is kind of like yellows and green kind of uh, toned the little like I don't even know if you guys can tell but like on the design here like there's little kind of greenish yellow like little specks there um and like they kind of go with the vibe of each one so the one with like the reds this one in it has like little kind of red burgundy little details here that's super cute this one has like dark blue and then the purple one has like light purple little designs on it so that's like a really cute little tiny touch there also i want to throw out there that each one of these has a mirror so that's awesome and I love the fact that the mirror in it is not just like a tiny little one that you're only able to see like one eye with you know like it's literally you can see both eyes perfectly like it's so wide right here you can literally see both eyes and be able to do your eyeshadow like super easily because of it okay so why don't we just jump right into swatching because I really want to feel these okay so in the armed and gorgeous palette you have the shades VIP, which is like a white, really shimmery color, um, Access, and that's kind of like a, a pretty bright yellow, um, Guilt Trip, it's kind of a goldeny shimmer shade, um, Coin, which is a deeper kind of yellow shimmer, you have Agent, which is kind of like a deep burnt orange, Top Secret, which is like amazing, I love this green color so much. <laughs> Um, Smooth Criminal, which is kind of just a, uh, kind of like an orangey brown. Secure, which is pretty much kind of similar to Agent, but it is kind of, um, slightly lighter. Um, you have Prowl, which is a deep, dark brown. And then you have Classified, which is kind of like a brownish color, but it has, like, gold shimmer in it. So that one's awesome because I like the variety of shimmer versus matte. Um, so you have VIP, Guilt Trip, Coin, and Classified, and those are the four shimmers in this palette, and then the rest of them are all mattes. So I really like that it's not just all matte or all shimmer, it's really like a good variety. Okay, so then there is the Ring the Alarm palette, which is like all of the red colors. So in there you have the shade Lolly, which is kind of like a uh, kind of like a reddish pink uh, shimmer color, and the shimmer is kind of like on the goldish side. Um, you have Rush, which is just a light orange on camera, and that's kind of like a deep. It's a deeper gold than like what uh, Guilt Trip and Coin were in the Armed and Gorgeous palette. You have Boom, and that one kind of is like a, kind of like a deep berry shimmer color. And then you have Alert, that one's kind of like a deep, deep burnt orange. You have Bomb Ass, and that is a shimmery red. You have Siren, that one's kind of like a wine color, and it looks like it might have a little bit of shimmer to it. You have Mugshot, and that one is kind of on the light brown um, side of things. You have Framed, and that one's kind of like a deep uh, purpley wine. Um, and then there is Secret, and that one is kind of like on the deeper side of a brown color. So again with this one, there is four like blatant shimmery colors, and then it looks like Siren might have a little bit of shimmer to it, um, but it's not like, it's not as like glittery, glittery as the other ones are. Okay, so then there is the Dark Magic palette. Um, this is kind of like the more neutral, kind of like earthy tones. So you have Poof, and that one is uh, based on the tutorial that you're gonna see at the end of this video it's like an awesome transition shade um power cut which is a shimmery silver color um there's shh <laughs> and that one is kind of like a grayish brown and that one kind of looks like that would be a really good transition shade too um there's trickery and that's like a deep kind of shimmery green um diversion which is a darker uh silver shimmer so then there's Potion, and that one kind of reminds me um, a little bit of, like, Dirty Martini from Makeup Geek. It kind of has, like, that really kind of grungy green look to it. Um, there's Busted, and that's a deep blue. 
Inside Job, which is an even deeper kind of greenish blue. There's Mojo, and that one is really dark, almost, it's kind of like a brownish purple. Um, there's Temptress, and it looks at first sight like that's a black, but I think it's very, very deep blue. Okay, so again with this one, um, as far as like the shimmers to mattes, there's three shimmers in this one, and then the rest of them are mattes. Um, but I actually really kind of like that with like these more earthy tones. I feel like, I don't know, it just works really well with this one. Okay, so then last but certainly not least, um, there is the Bling Boss palette. And this is the one that is like purpley wine colors. So you have Bling Bling, and that's kind of like a mauve pink shimmer. Um, Hush Hush, which looks kind of like Bling Bling, only it's matte and it doesn't have any shimmer to it. There's Gem, which is a really bright purple. Um, Pizzazz, which is kind of like a deep, deep wine shimmer. Um, Mystic, and that's a matte, but it's really, really deep purple. Um, Sparks, which is kind of like on the red wine side. There is Glitz and Glam, and that one's kind of like a champagne shimmer. Um, there's Rockstar, and that one is kind of like a wine shade, but it's more to the purple side of things. There's Ballsy, and that one is just kind of like a light shimmery brown, or, um, shimmery purple. And then there is finally Berry Treasure. Um, and <laughs> that's a cute name, Berry Treasure, <laughs> instead of Buried Treasure, that's cute. Okay, so that one is like a very, very dark purple um, with a little bit of like pinky purpley shimmer to it. Okay, so there's kind of like a rundown of all of the colors um, and all of the palettes. And as far as like the feel of them and the like the consistency the blendability and all of that the shades that i have used from each one they're amazing like it's really it's very comparable if you do have her other palette that they just came out with like a couple years ago or whatever um they are very very similar to the same consistency of that um she was saying i watched her video when she was like talking about the launch of these um she was saying that there was something that happened with the formula where um it was like inconsistent so they had to recall all of them redo them and then ship them all back out so <laughs> if you're somebody that had those and you know you had a bad experience i apologize but these the ones that they just you know were released after that happened are beautiful like they're amazing i've i've personally not had any issues with them so far. Um, again, I've only had them two days, so <laughs> I'm gonna definitely be using these because these are life and I will be using them pretty much every day for a while now. <laughs> So definitely uh, like stay tuned on my channel because there will be updates and I will be doing future tutorials tutorials with these eyeshadow palettes. I can't speak. <laughs> Alright guys, so that is pretty much all that I have to say about them so far. Um, like I said, I've only had them two days. So I will update you in the future on how I feel about the consistency, blendability, all of that type of stuff. Um, but as of right now, they are beautiful. They're gorgeous to look at. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the tutorial portion. So if you want to see how I got this look using the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe vault palettes, just keep watching. Okay, so I've already primed my eye with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus eyeshadow primer. So now I'm just going to take my Kala 415 brush right here, and I'm going to dip into the shade Poof, and that is in the Dark Magic palette. So Poof is that one right there. And I'm just going to kind of use that one as a transition shade, and I'm just going to kind of buff it in the whole like transition area. And for this look, I am going to, again, um, I've been into this really, like, the cat eye kind of shape eyeshadow lately, so I am going to kind of just stay to that shape with each shade that I use. I'm also going to run that underneath of my eye. Okay, so then I'm going to, on the same brush, I'm going to grab the shade Access in the Armed and Gorgeous palette. Um, it's this really bright yellow right here. And I'm going to kind of, I'm going to put that in kind of like the same area that I just put that poof color. I'm just going very like light handed with these. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of color, tap it off, and then go in. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and grab my Morphe M506 brush. And this is the brush that I'm going to use to like mainly get most of this look done. All right, so then... Um, also in the Armed and Gorgeous uh, palette, I'm going to dip into Secure, which is this orange one right here. And I'm going to just start to kind of lay that down a little bit lower than where I just put Access. I'm just taking a little bit of color at a time with this um, and just building it up because it makes it a lot easier um, to get a good blend. 
when you just take a little bit at a time. And then I'm just going to pick up a little bit more of that access, the first color that we used, and then just use that to blend out um, that secure color. Okay, so then after that, I'm going to grab the shade Alert, and that one is in the Ring the Alarm palette. Um, it's just kind of like a deeper orange color right here. And I'm going to lay that one down a little bit lower than where I put Secure. Okay, so then after that, I'm going to go ahead and pick up some of the shade Potion in the Dark Magic palette. And that is this kind of like olivey green color right here. And again, I'm just going to work a little bit lower than where I put Alert. Um, each color, I'm kind of just stacking underneath of the previous one. Okay, so now um, back in the Armed and Gorgeous palette, I'm going to pick up the color Top Secret, uh, which is a very similar shade to Potion, um, but it is like slightly darker. And again, just laying this down a little bit below where we put that previous color. I'm also going to take that Top Secret color and I'm going to kind of lay this down, um, kind of halfway covering my lid here. Okay, so then next, um, I'm going to grab the Dark Magic palette again, and I'm going to kind of like mix the shades Trickery and Temptress. Um, I really like the like deep green color of um, Trickery, but I feel like when it went on, it needed to be just a little bit darker. Um, so I did kind of mix it with Temptress right here. And I'm going to lay this one down on this very, very outer corner of my eye. And I am going to kind of like put my finger underneath of this part of my eye so that dark shadow doesn't fall down onto like my foundation and stuff. All right, so then I'm just going to switch brushes over to my little MAC shadow brush. And I am going to dip into Guilt Trip in the Armed and Gorgeous palette. Um, and it is this light golden shimmery shade. And I'm just going to go ahead and cover like this whole blank area right here on like the inner half of my lid. Okay, and while I'm in the Armed and Gorgeous palette, I'm going to kind of grab some of Coin, which is the color right next to Guilt Trip right here. It's just a brighter golden shimmer shade. And I'm going to kind of dab that one um, into like the center of my lid kind of in between where Guilt Trip and Top Secret meet. Okay, and then just switching back over to my M506 brush, I'm going to pick up more of that Top Secret, top secret shade, <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of dab it over where I put it before. Um, I'm just going to use this to kind of blend that golden shade into everything else here. Okay, so then while I still have my M506 brush, I'm going to kind of mimic on the bottom, um, like my lower lash line here, kind of what I did on the top. So I'm going to first kind of grab um, the shade Access from the Armed and Gorgeous palette, um, which was just that like bright yellow that I used, and I'm just going to run that right along my lash line. Again, just making sure that this lower lash line kind of ties into this whole kind of winged out effect right here. All right, switching brushes over to my Morphe MB47 little flat top brush here. Um, I'm going to grab Secure again right here in the Armed and Gorgeous palette. All right, I'm just going to run that a little bit above where I kind of brought that access color down. All right, and then again in the Ring the Alarm palette, just picking up some of Alert right here and going a little bit higher up. All 
eye and then going up a little bit higher with the potion shade from the dark magic palette that one okay and then once again grabbing top secret from the armed and gorgeous palette that guy right there and again just running it right along my lower lash line here And then again, just grabbing a mixture of Trickery and Temptress from the Dark Magic palette. Um, this guy and this one. And this one, I'm not going to run completely under my um, whole lower lash line. I'm going to just kind of keep it to this little outer portion here. Okay, so I'm going to pick up a little bit more of Alert, which is that like deep orange color because I feel like that one um, kind of got rubbed off quite a bit. Um, so I am going to go back in with that just a little bit and kind of just bring that oranginess back under here. Right, and then switching brushes back over to my M506, I'm going to pick up more of Access, which is that bright yellow, and again, just bring that back underneath of my eye here. Okay, so then now I'm going to take my Morphe E24 brush right here, and I'm going to spritz it with the Pearlescence Coconut Rose um, Face Mist. And I'm just going to pick up some more of that Guilt Trip color um, from the Armed and Gorgeous palette, which is that one. And I'm just going to kind of work that into the inner corner of my eye. I'm also going to pick up a little bit of VIP in that same palette, um, which is just the white. And I'm going to kind of focus that one on the very, very inner corner. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and take the Mali Evercolor Starlight Waterproof Liner in the shade Peacock Feathers, and I'm going to go ahead and wine. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and line my lower waterline. Okay, so then I'm just going to take my Morphe MB47 brush right here again and kind of just run it along where my lashes are, just to kind of work that liner in between my lashes. Okay, and then on my little MAC uh, shadow brush, I'm going to grab some of the Anastasia and Amrezi highlighter right here, and I'm going to put that, and I'm going to put that one onto my brow bone. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw on my Maybelline Mega Plush Mascara and my other Salon Perfect 614 Lash, and I will be right back. Alright guys, so this is the completed look right here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to kind of give you some insight on the Jaclyn Hill vault collection right here. So if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the like button down below and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, as always, the brushes, products, all of that type of stuff will be listed down below in the description box. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!